Lots more news about the upcoming Mi 10 series, the latest flagship phones from Xiaomi, and some good news overall regarding the screen, the battery, and the charging setups on both of the phones. Firstly, the biggest news regarding the phones is to do with the screens. As we know, Xiaomi were exploring the possibility of using 120 hertz displays, even going so far as to make some prototype units and test out devices with that type of display, at least for the pro version of the series. But over the last few days, it looks like Xiaomi have once and for all decided the spec they're going to use in the phones. In fact, a 90 hertz refresh rate display, not 120 hertz. A few different sources from around China did come out around about the same time with the 90 hertz specification. So we can take that as more or less decided that that is what's going to be coming in the phones. I think the Mi 10 coming with a flat display and the Mi 10 Pro coming with a curved display, both OLED and both with 90 hertz is something that most of us can definitely understand. A 2K 120 hertz OLED display is obviously something that is more expensive. Xiaomi did explore the possibility. The problem is there's no code in MIUI right now that supports 90 hertz displays. There is for 120 hertz displays. That is something that can be changed very quickly, so let's keep an eye out and see what will happen. Further news on the screen, it looks like Xiaomi for the Mi 10 Pro have decided to go with Chinese factory Visionox for the OLED panel and not use a panel from Samsung display. This actually does make a lot of sense because the Mi Note 10 used an OLED display from Visionox. The Mi Mix 4 is also using a Visionox curved display, so Xiaomi are obviously using Visionox more and more for their display units. More camera leaks, again from a few different sources at around about the same time, all with very similar information, which usually means that the information is quite accurate. Of course, the main camera sensor being that 108 megapixel camera that is fairly new for Xiaomi. There's almost no doubt about that whatsoever, but a new rumor is that a secondary camera in the Mi 10 Pro will feature a 48 megapixel sensor. That would probably be a zoom lens, although there's no information on what zoom that would be, whether it be 2x, 3x, 4x, 4x, 5x, but a 48 megapixel under that lens does suggest it is taking a big leap forward in quality, especially from what we see in the Mi 9 phones. Then different sources all converging on the last two lenses being a 12 megapixel and an 8 megapixel, which does also suggest that all four cameras in the setup are in fact fully functional camera units no depth sensors or macro sensors in this one. In regards to charging, the 66 or 65 watt fast charging is more or less confirmed right now. There was a story a week or so ago about Xiaomi actually having some problems with a prototype unit with that fast charging and they couldn't keep the heat down and so they may have to have changed the watches down to about 50 watts but it looks like they have now sorted out that problem and are going for a 66 or 65 watt charging method and as for wireless charging different rumors some suggest 40 watt wireless charging but a very well known and reputable Xiaomi leaker has said that the entire series will be getting 30 watt wireless charging that is definitely not the fastest wireless charging in the industry but if you look at the phone in general, having 65 watt wired charging and 30 watt wireless charging all together is actually a really good spec. If you compare that to, for example, Oppo, who give us 65 watt charging in the Reno Ace, there's actually no wireless charging whatsoever in that phone. So having both wired and wireless at pretty good rates is a good thing from Xiaomi. To finish off the Xiaomi news, I did tell you that Xiaomi were working on the next version of the Black Shark, the Black Shark 3. 90 Hertz AMOLED, Snapdragon 865, 64 megapixel Sony IMX 686 in a triple camera setup, 4,700 milliamp hour battery and 30 watt fast charging for now, although it could be upgraded to 65 watt in the final device. This picture was also sent out in China around about the same time and it suggested that the Black Shark 3 could have a camera setup that looks like this. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and everything to do with Xiaomi. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.